As of March 5, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 95,333 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 3,282 deaths. There are now 14,768 confirmed cases in over 85 countries outside of China. There have been confirmation of COVID-19 cases in several countries of the Caribbean, including the Dominican Republic, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, and most recently, Martinique. With the global increase in transmission and the recent upgrade of the Caribbean's risk assessment by the Caribbean Public Health Agency from low to moderate to high, the Department of Health and Wellness continues to strengthen preparation for in-country transmission and management, as well as building diagnostic capacity for testing for COVID-19. Currently, all testing for COVID-19 is done at the Caribbean Public Health Agency, which is the regional reference lab for the Caribbean region. Specimen from suspected cases are transported to the Ezra Long Laboratory at the Victoria Hospital for onward transport to the Caribbean Public Health Agency. Being cognizant of the international spread of COVID-19 and with the endorsement of the Honorable Prime Minister Alan Chastney, the Department of Health and Wellness has sourced equipment to facilitate COVID-19 testing on island. This equipment has already been shipped and it is expected to enhance the management of cases through timely diagnosis. The ports of entry, both air and sea ports, will be receiving additional public health staff to enforce the relevant regulations and protocols and to ensure the health of the St. Lucian public. In the interim, the public is asked to continue practicing the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infections. These include regular hand washing with soap and running water, or the use of an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues or clothing when coughing and sneezing. Avoid close contact with anyone showing signs and symptoms of respiratory illness, such as coughing or sneezing. Seek medical attention and share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have signs and symptoms that are suggestive of a respiratory illness. As the Department of Health and Wellness notes that COVID-19 is closer to our borders, we encourage St. Lucians to avoid panic, but rather to focus on preparation. We have been providing guidance on the importance of infection prevention and control, which includes hand washing, cough etiquette, and the management of respiratory illnesses. <laughs>